For the following video, we are going to use sales promotion, uh, SQL question, question to demonstrate how we can apply subqueries in a query and also demonstrate how to apply case, when, else, and in the SQL command line. Now let's look at our Facebook real interview example. The question is that given table, the table name is sales and uh, they have a sale ID, promotion ID, sale amount and other colors. You want to find the percent of sales with promotions, which is the promotion ID is not known, are doing in comparison to all the sales. And the percentage of sales happen on the first and the last day of the promotion and the percent of increase in revenue compared to promoted and unpromoted products. So uh, if you are given this question, slow down, I'll do it one by one because in the first, it might look really confu confusing. So don't be panic. Just look at the question one by one. Uh, don't try to... Uh, comprehend the complete answers of the question. Okay, let's how let, let, let's do it one by one. So first, given the table sales, to demonstrate, I uh, create a, a query here. So they are given a, a sales table with three columns, sales ID, promotion ID, and the sales amount. Uh, this is an example. So the table looks like this way, right? So they, they are multiple sales ID 1 to 10, and the 2, 3, 4 are the ones that are running promotion. And you can see the sales amount. When, the run, when running the promotion, the amount tends to be higher, and the date is the problem state. We have a date here. Okay. So you, basically, they want to find the first question is that, they want to find the percent of sales with promotion and uh, compare with total sales. For total sales, it's pretty straightforward. I think you know the function. If you use uh, select some sales amount, This query is going to give you the total. So those are the add up uh, total sales amount. How about just promotion? Just promotion then we want to introduce a function that's uh, case when then case when then uh, return something else, return something, and then end. Let's see how this goes here. I can select, to demonstrate, I can select everything and uh, plus case when from sales, when Promotion ID is not no, which means promotion. Then I return ABC. Else I return uh, DEF. Then don't forget there's an end at the end of the statement. Go. So when we run this, you will see that. If there is a promotion, we return ABC, and of no promotion, return uh, DEF. So those are the promotion ones. So as, as expected. Okay. So what what we really want to do is that uh, we don't want to return ABC and DEF. In, instead, we want to return. We can return the sale amount. Let's see how it goes. 
is give an error message because sale sale amount by all definition is a number, is numerical data, and the DF, DEF is correct. So you don't want to do this. So let's remove DEF. And the query was fine. For the ones with promotion, they return the sale amount. And then otherwise, they would, would return no. So then you know you want to sum it up, right? Sum up the promotion one, like we did, how to sum all the sales. If you run this query, you are going to get an error again because select everything, they are going to give each, each row. But here you are using sum, so it's not going to work this way. It's going to give you error. So, but if you uh, don't do, uh, every, don't look at each row, just look at the sum, you will work. This is the sum of the, the three days the three days we have a promotion. So now the answer becomes straightforward now. They want to look at, the question is to look at the promotion, the percentage of promotion versus, versus the total sale. And we have a down the total sale here. So we just divide it by sum of sale amount. So this one is going to add all the sale amount, which has a promotion. And this is going to add everything without always promotion. And this should give us the answer. Yeah, 50%. Okay, that's the first question. Let's do move on. What percentage of the sales happen on the first and the last day of the promotion? So uh, first day and the last day is a little bit uh, tricky. So you can use the top one, top two uh, from the SQL uh, function. But the more difficult part, uh, the, the difficult part is the of this one is the percentage. Let's look at how the table looks like again. So this is the table, how it looks like. And we are looking for the percentage of the sales, right? So percentage of sales, there's a tree, we can do something like this. Percentage, percentage of sales is the sale amount divided by total amount, right? So total amount is select start uh, select some like we have seen before. So this one give us the uh, this num no, this this is sub query give us the the to the total the total sales amount. And this one is like, look at each row, what's the amount from this, uh, from this table. So this is sale percentage. This look how it works. Yeah, so you can see that you have every, you, have, you, got, you got the percentage here for the sales amount, okay. Now, the, the question is the percentage came on the first and last day. Uh, first day and the last day. So first day is 650, this is the amount we hope. Oh, uh, actually, it's 650 and the 21% is the amount we, we are looking for. So to look at this, we, have, we can order it by day. But we only want to look at, we only want to uh, look at the promotion date, right? So we want to have a, a constraint that's where the promotion ID is not, no. So if we do this, we should get all three of this. Let's, let's check if this is true. 
we got what we want. Then on the first day, so we ordered by day. And we just want the top one. So you got the top one. Yeah. So instead of using everything, we just want to return the sales percentage based on the question that the interviewer asked us. So you don't read, really need all this. This is the answer. How about the last day of the promotion? So I think we can just re repeat the query, but then you want to solve it in the DCD, DCD node. And this is the answer. If you want to check, you can, uh, if you check, check the answer is right, you can add this back and then write again. which give you the more confidence that you are picking up the right day and the right amount. The third question is the percentage increases in revenue compared to the promoter and promote uh, products. So when we compare like increase from A to B, a is the best, B is the, uh, B is the after the results after A. So the definition of increase of A to B, the percentage increase of A to B is B minus A, this is the increase and divide by the base. So it's basically B over A minus one. Uh, it's just saving you a little bit typing instead of type three of them, you just have a two, type a two. So we'll do uh, the promotion over, unprom over the non-promoted and uh, minus one. So again, how do we get the promotion? We, we want to add up yeah, and remember cast when below machine ID is not no. Then we want to have the sale amount. So this is the promotion. And uh, for the for the non promotion, yes, when promotion ID is. Those are not a promotion items. And we have to minus one. Okay. So this should give us the percentage increase in revenue compared to promoted. Is this one? Uh, I forgot the end. Right? Then unpromoted is this one. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so uh, increase 2.6% uh, compared with the promoted versus the unpromoted product. So let's uh, conclude this question. The key idea we introduce are two. One is the, uh, we introduce the uh, case when, so the syntax is case when something you return a, a thing, else, then return a thing. Uh, the else and else, this part can, is optional, so you don't need them. If you don't have else condition, you don't have else statement here, then you are going to get a, a no uh, for the return. So that's the one thing for the, uh, for the, uh, for this question interview question. Another idea that used in this interview is the 
uh, sort uh, order by and then select top one. And the third trick is that we, just we see here, we can actually have a subquery to return a number in the query. 